Greetings and salutations. This is Rick Copper Clance from Denver, Colorado. And with another episode of Nylon and Screw Guy. Today we have a special treat for you. Because I just got in today. It's supposed to come tomorrow, but I got it in today. My brand new mechanical keyboard. Frog Felician, I think is how you pronounce that. At any rate, that's what it is. And we'll open up here in a minute and look at it. But I want to show you what I got first. First, I've got this keyboard here. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's the only other mechanical keyboard I've had. It's a Chrome Key C1, which plugs into a USB port. I wanted to get rid of the wire, another wire on my desk. So that's one reason I got the wireless keyboard. And, uh, anyway, this is a pretty good keyboard. It's a nice little keyboard, but it, it, it's, you have to push down and you have to bang on it to make sure you get the keys to register. Now, you don't have to do that. But uh, it's, there's no click on it. There's no sense where you can tell, okay, push that button if I can let them down. So you, you, you have to bang it down, and then also it's a little bit mushy that way. So I've got a mechanical keyboard with Cherry, MX Cherry switches in it. Supposed to be better that way. And uh, we got, it's a Credit US English keyboard. RGB red. We'll see what it looks like when we plug it in. Uh, I think we're ready to open this puppy up and see what we've got here. Huh? You want to see from it's going to be Amazon sticker. I'm not promoting Amazon or anything, but yeah, I just got it from Amazon today. It also has this you know, little uh, thing here. It's from some kind of tactile touch where you can just buy me easier. Find out what that's about too. So, let's dig into some boxes, puppy. First, I get my handy dandy knife out. Mm. I'm gonna kill myself trying to open this box. Shouldn't. Okay. What do we got here? I'm going to have to open up a little here, guys. Ta-da! It was this nice box for it, I guess. You can cart it around and keep your sex stuff in pieces in it. And these come with extra things on it. So we'll slice this open here. Just lean on my hand, just the... Just the box. And you can't see it still because it's going to encase its own little kind of uh, cloth bag case or something like that. And it's supposed to be a small keyboard, but it still fully functional as a, as a standard keyboard for, you know, for any thing. We'll see how good it is. So we had to And here we are. Slick black. It's supposed to slap, I think we play it in. Looks interesting. Light mode down here. Page down, end, um, page up, on, scroll lock, delete key, and insert and function, function lock. Yeah, so over here you have your lock. Windows key, macro, to record macros or some of this, I don't know. Anyway, I'll have to explore that and learn more about that, won't I? And you know, see what else is in this, this box. Here's your USB to 
So you got a C plug on one end and a Type A plug on the other. USB cable connector. Connected to. Green. Do we have a? Oh, I see. It's Type A in case you need to get a connector to Type A from Type C. Got an adapter here. I'm not sure why I need this if it's got a Type C on it. That's pretty much all in the box. Adapter. Charging cable. Slash. You can also use it with the cable attached if you don't know how to power. You better read the instructions for how to use this thing. I don't see any connectors. No connectors? No, well, it's wireless keyboard, so I'm sure. Just be ready to fire it up, but you have to plug it in. Should you have a wireless thing to plug it in for? I mean, that's on here somewhere. I don't know. It says it's wireless. So, got to read instructions. Oh, I know. This is a case. This is a case here. This is a keyboard. It's a case. Okay, that makes some more sense out of it. And there you see your ports on back here, right there. Looks like you got a... Your wireless dials are in there. And you've got an off and on switch and a C port for your power. You need power. Let's see what happens when you click it in. That's just a holder for this little dad doggle here. It's right back here. In the spot here is a little spot for it. you are stuck in there. It's like that magnetizes in there. Very swift. So then you just plug this in. So we need to plug it into this keyboard over here. Well, I'm going to take this old keyboard off because it's new on the switch and see what happens to it. There you go. And so turn this on, see if it works. It says it comes pre charged at least. And we should just have to click this on. See if it works or not with this Linux system. Oh. Here's the keyboard lit up. Let's see, window key, yep. Yep, does exactly what I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, I'm on LibreOffice. Wolf. Not bad. And there you go. You can't really see this, but it's, trust me, it's working. So that's cool. You just have to. Read the instructions, find out more about it. Cool, huh? Now I can have this keyboard I can stay anywhere I want without having to worry about having a wire long enough to go wherever I wanted it to go to. And it pretty much does the trick. So anyway, with that, I'll say adieu to you. Uh, to may the Linux Force be with you. Peace.